Just get an update from our state's hospital leaders hesitant to celebrate this week's small downturn in cases with other potential problems on the horizon. Fox 13's Brian Flores joins us with how hospitals are preparing for what's ahead. Hi, Brian. Hi, Liz. Yeah, you know, every week we've been getting these updates from the Washington State Hospital Association. This week there is a little bit of good news when it comes to COVID numbers. We'll talk about that in a moment. But moving ahead now, there is some concern talking about the flu season and, yes, staffing shortages as well. Let's talk about some of the numbers uh, recently released from the Hospital Association in regards to COVID numbers. Uh, they say right now there's 1,124 people being treated in hospitals for COVID. Now, that number is down. 12% from last week when then there were more than 1200 cases deaths also down from last week 15 deaths reported from this last previous report this week compared to 29 the week before hospital occupancy that remains pretty high though at 90% and while those numbers are encouraging to say the least there are three points of concern moving forward. Number one, the flu season, as I mentioned. What will be the impact of that on an already strained hospital system? Number two, the impact of delayed care. You know, because of so many COVID patients, others in need of non-emergency but still critical medical care or procedures like cancer treatments or other surgeries, those had to be de delayed. So there could be an influx of patients there as well. And then lastly, staffing shortages, which are coming from the vaccine mandate, but because of burnout too. And while COVID hospitals are decreasing medical staff. They're hesitant just to say we're out of the woods just yet. Uh, we are in no means. Uh, we, have, we have not returned to a, a normal state of operation at this point in time. Uh, hospitals are still extremely full. Um, there are pockets of facilities that find themselves uh, with uh, very, very, very high challenges. Yeah, so the updates from... Now, hospitals will start surveying how many staff members are fully vaccinated. We do expect to get those numbers during their next update on October 11th, but we're already seeing staffing issues, not just in hospitals, but also in transporting patients, EMTs, and long-term care facilities as well. Uh, the other bit of good news is that uh, monoclonal antibodies, this is basically a treatment that is used to treat COVID patients. There was concern during last week's update that there was a shortage of this supply, but they tell us now that uh, those supplies have now stabilized. So that's definitely a bit of good news, but overall in the wintertime, they are expecting to be very busy. Guys, back over to you.